it's a common challenge that when we hear the successes, particularly of other entrepreneurs and business owners, we tend to think there was a straight path to their success, and in some cases, it was overnight. But the reality is, your path to a chaos-liberating setup in your business will not be straight. Hey, it's Scott Beebe with Business On Purpose. Make sure to go check us out, mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash healthy, and you can start to understand some of that chaos that might be bombarding you right now with an actual metric score, sort of a chaos meter in your business. In about a year from now, Business on Purpose will celebrate its 10th anniversary. We started way back in 2015. The statistics range, but we say it all the time, 96% of businesses will never see their 10th birthday. When milestones and thresholds are crossed over questions, begin the, these questions begin peppering your inbox for the secret to your success as if there's a singular ingredient that concocted the cake that now stands in the display. It may be worth noting that success is not a given destination and instead is a manufactured line that we cross of our own making. Ashley and I, we've been married since 1998, and while we celebrate the miles we have traveled together, we know that there are another, another 50 years yet to explore that we anticipate, and the path we laid in those early years is not representative of the path we actually took. I once read a quote by Seth Godin, and he said, I'm an overnight success, and it only took me 14 years to get here. <laughs> Father Richard Rohr, a Catholic priest, he remarked, the journey is a spiral and never a straight line. When asked to share our story and background, it's always crucial that we begin with, mine is a fragmented blueprint, not a linear set of logical lines. In the chaos of life, there are curves along the side of the road that can and will act as a rudder for the ship of your life while navigating the open seas of your daily reality. In the spirit of Annie Dillard, you have the agency of those rudders to be willed, faked, and so brought into being. There are four filters that we have willed and faked guiding our decision-making, influencing our investment of resources, and shaping our worldview. Those four, generosity, intentionality, togetherness, and perspective. Now, those four will likely not be your four, and that's okay. They're our unique core values. But my question for you is, what are yours? The rudder of generosity for us ensures that we are at least confronted with the tough decision to forego the consumption of some resources for our own pleasure and instead joyfully share those with others with no expectation of express gratitude in return. The emotional labor of intentionality works to will meaning into mundane daily activities. We can choose to wake and just make the donuts or we can choose to feed others with whimsy and joy. Both actions are the same. Proactive intentionality infuses a premeditation about what you're trying to cause, bringing about significant motivational increase to everyone you influence. That third element, the focus of togetherness, offers a powerful alternative in a society riddled with the ammunition of isolation. Instead of more time alone, we need better time alone and observant time when we're with others. Distraction is disrupting a disjointedly disagreeable culture, unnecessarily disgracing an otherwise distinguished relationship. Hit rewind and listen to that one again. The focus of togetherness helps to disengage the tragedy of isolation. Finally, that fourth value that I mentioned, the overlook of perspective, allows us to take in and understand the sweeping geography that surrounds us, worldviews, faiths, convictions, doctrines, rituals, formalities, and codes, they all seem a little less crazy when we're able to ride the hot air balloon of perspective above the fracas and with a safe distance from the heat of emotions that whips up a cultural fever. Cool-headedness has space to breathe on the hill of perspective. These four values for us, generosity, intentionality, togetherness, and perspective, have helped provide lucidity in the spiral and fragmented blueprint for the short breath of our life. These four are the four that emerged for us and are likely different than the values that emerged for you, and that's okay. Everything seems a straight line when admired from the rear view, but the spiral of your future will help you uncover the boundaries of your decision. And the moment you have it figured out, that line curves again. Looking back on the spiral of your life, what principles have guided your decisions? If chaos is the prevailing principle, well, today's a great day to make a different choice. 
an intentional choice. You can do that now. Go to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash healthy, and you can begin to diagnose the health of yourself and your business so that you can be liberated from chaos. Mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash healthy.